Hey y'all, welcome to the channel. Today we're gonna look at adding some power to the 7.3 of mine with an uh, edge revolver six position and uh, control everything through the CTS-3. I, right now I have all my lights done with the CTS-3 and you know all the gauge and everything like that, uh, EGTs. So let's get after it. All right, so first things first, this is what we're dealing with. We've got the revolver six position chip and you've got your connecting cord, your switch. This is all your switch if you wanted to run it on a switch. For us, we're not gonna use that today because we're gonna control all of ours with the Edge expandable accessory system that will control everything through the CTS-3. I use this for my EGT probe as well as my uh, my switches for the lights on the front of the truck to keep everything super clean. Um, there's your your actual chip and just some stuff to clean it up with. Some zip ties to clean up your factory um, computer. Install instructions. You know stickers like we all love. Got one of those little gel stickers, which is kind of cool, but. We'll, uh, we'll do that. And then here's your EAS for the sixth position. There's your power cord for your factory one or to hook up to the, the full EAS system. And then there's the actual one that's gonna hook into your switch with a switch adapter. This plugs in and they daisy chain together so you can hook a bunch up together. Like I said, I've got light switches on there right now. Um, two different switches there, one for my fog lights, one for my spotlights, and then also my EGT probe. So looks like it's gonna be fairly simple to get together. I think we're gonna need a 10 millimeter to pull out the PCM. Um, and then also we think we need a 13 millimeter to rip out the, uh, the parking brake assembly so you can actually get to everything. I'm gonna open up my PCM as well. I wanna check to make sure we don't have any leaking capacitors, any problems there. All right, so like I said, I use my CTS-3 for pretty much everything. Um, you got all your gauges. I've got my EGTs on here, um, as well as the backlight for my aftermarket lights and full light power. So it's hard to see because it's daytime, but you've got the lights up there. Um, all of it, again, controlled through there. I pulled out my weight to start indicator and made a 3D bracket. Um, printed bracket for it to keep it all there. Keep everything in line here real nice, keeping it all streamlined. So what we need to do is we're gonna need to pull out that panel, pull out the parking brake. Um, we'll rip all that off there and then we'll go under the hood, pull the PCM. I'm gonna rip into it and open up the PCM to check, make sure everything's like I said, no leaking capacitors and all that. So we'll uh, be right back. So first things first, before I start ripping any of the PCM out, disconnect both batteries. And then we've got your PCM right here. You got some 10 mils. What you see here is part of the EAS system. Um, you got some 10 mils to pull out. If you, we're gonna then, we're gonna pull out this inner fender or remove it a little bit so we can get it out that way. And then we'll get, I already got the trim pulled here and we'll pull out the parking brake so we can have everything all, all out and accessible. All right, just three nuts and that's out. And as you can see, we've got the back of our PCM there. I, like I said, I'm gonna pull mine. I wanna inspect it, but I think we are ready to go. All right, so in order to pull your PCM out the easy way, we're gonna remove this inner fender here. And uh, I already got the bolts on, well, the top bolt and the middle harness bolt disconnected. So we'll, uh, we'll, be, we'll just rip this fender out real quick or pull it back some and then get the, uh, get the PCM out. All right, well, 
pulling that fender is is no easy job. We're, I mean, it's still stuck in there. So we're gonna try to get this out. We'll see how it goes. And uh, yeah, we'll be right back to it. But the good news is, we got it out. So I'm gonna go open this up. We'll uh, we'll go take a look at it. Got our PCM. We've got six little screws here. And we'll get her opened up. Make sure everything looks good here. You do not have to do this for necessarily to put put in your revolver, but it's something I feel like while I'm in here, you might as well check it. These capacitors can cause so many issues with drivability, you know, funky stuff going on. I mean, let's get real. This truck's 20, what, 28 years old now? Electronics start failing. So let's, uh, let's see what we're looking at. Looking through it, it looks, it looks good. I see nothing in there that gives me any sort of alarm or concern. So what we're gonna do is we'll pull this, we'll pull this plate. We're gonna get in there with that scotch bright they gave us and clean up this, this plug. It's still got a bunch of factory, you know, the goo on it and uh, get this revolver in. Remember, screwdrivers are not pry bars unless you want them to be. And get back in there again. Get that cleaned up. Cool. That's all ready to get this revolver chip put in here. All right, that's all good. Sitting in there nice and flush, really nice there. And we will move on to the next step and get this, like I said, for me, I'm gonna use the EAS with the CTS-3, so I don't need the controller or any of that good stuff. Or the, yeah, the dial. So here's the CTS-3 here. So we will, I'm gonna go wire this in, run the cable how I want it to run, and then get it mounted under the hood, connected, throw this back in the truck. All right, well, we, uh, we got both batteries reinstalled and hooked up, switches in, panels are in, got everything good here. I've got my EAS modules here. We got EGTs, we got our power switch, and then we got our revolver switch right there. Got everything plugged in. That's the switch for the lights up front here. Those are my Project X lights. And then running inside, let's see what it's gonna be like. I've got my wiring right up there, running underneath the carpet, up the floor, and then behind this trim panel into the computer. So let's uh, let's check it out. So this is going to be a stock, a um, high idle, like 1200 RPM idle. Um, what is it? 75, 50, 75, um, 100, 140. So we'll uh, we'll see what happens. It starts up good, real easy, and then you got your switch right here. So there's high idle right at about 1200. We've got power level three, which is actually your first non stock four. And then we go up to uh, 
So you can also just enter them in like this. We got five. And lastly, six. I think each one seems quite a bit more responsive. I think I'll just settle with four right now with mine. But uh, all things together, we are set and ready to go. Um, got everything hidden away, obviously put back away. And uh, you know, I love this. I love this CTS-3 for the reason like, there's my back lights, there's my main lights. You can barely see them under the hood there. Um, but you got everything there and switched on the fly. So, hey, I appreciate everyone watching. Um, if you wanna add a little more power to your 7.3, Anyway, give me a like, give me a follow, subscribe, what have you, um, and I'll see you next time.